holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. Who do we have on the phone right now? Your friend and mine. The one, the only. You holler at him, he hollers back, because he's Joey Holland Beck. What's up, team? What up, my man? Can you guys hear me all right? I can hear you perfect. You're plugged in. You're sounding absolutely dialed in. I randomly was calling people. I think we're going to come up with another episode called Voice Mails, and we're going to spend it M, spell it M A L E S, and and we just a v- bunch of voices of males, and we'll just conglomerate it all together because everyone it was going to voicemail after voicemail. A few people, the females picked up that I called, except for your wife. I tried calling your wife; she didn't pick up. And in fact, she just texted me and said, "Did you try calling me?" I was just trying to fill some time, Joey. Oh yeah. But I got you. You got the big guy. You sound good. You sound like you're out of breath. What'd you do? Like, just run a marathon? No, I'm just overweight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> I just came outside and turned on the fire pit. Sad now. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Little, little later in the day. I like it. I talked to your cousin last night. We're going to release one of his episodes. He's going yeah. st- stir crazy in his one bedroom apartment. I uh, know. I talked to him today. He said uh, I would do anything to own a house right now. <laughs> I think he wants to move in. Where? With you? Just but he'll just be in his own bubble. Like he'll like he'll just just <laughs> just saran wrap his his entire room. Um, and he brought up a good point because we kind of like he first off he doesn't listen to the podcast um, at all ever. Which is weird. He has his own show and doesn't listen to his own show or ours. I feel like you, you got to listen to at least somebody's. Um, yeah, right. I, mean, I can understand you're not your own because maybe you don't like your voice and blah blah blah. But listen to somebody else's at least. And uh, definitely. But anyway, he we said, oh, we think he was like patient zero. And the thing he said that because he used to have it in the back of his mind that he thought maybe. Maybe, you know, we all have had that like sickness in November or December, or January. Man, maybe I had this. Maybe I had this. And of course, yeah. he had something that sounded very similar, but he said nobody else around him got sick. So he doesn't feel like he had it. It was just some weird sickness unrelated because it wasn't contagious or as contagious as it seemed like this is right now. So he's he's now off my radar. I don't think he had it. Just because he said that? A lot of people don't show symptoms, Trav. So, really? So we so we could have had it without the symptoms? A lot of people don't show symptoms. That's why I think it's a made-up virus. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore, buddy. It's 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 uh oh, it's to take it's to take over businesses it's supposed to uh, by the government. They say, oh yeah, sorry, you may get symptoms, you may not get symptoms. I don't know. Might show it, you may not. Who knows? But you have it, or maybe not. That's a joke. Whole thing's fishy. Whole thing's fishy. <laughs> Um, how long did you stay on the live video today? Uh, until your connection failed. Your, I my, you were doing something. something my con- was weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was mine. I think it was probably I yours. I needed to restart it. I had too many things open. That's okay. Dude, it was, it was probably one of my best shows ever by myself. So that was really good. It was fire. When I looked at it, you had like 11 viewers. <laughs> I think we jumped up to about 15 or 16. And then, uh, oh, really? and then, but people, the thing was, is people were jumping in and jumping out, saying some comments, jumping out. So it was, uh, it was good, man. But it brought up something. And I, I want to get your opinion on it. Okay. Handshakes. Okay. Are they a thing of the past? For the time being. Are you ever going to avoid at all costs? Do you want it? But here's the thing. Do you want them to come back? I want hugs or like double kisses on each cheek. <laughs> we maybe maybe we got away from the double kisses because of the other epidemics in the past, uh, and so now we're just slowly fading out physical contact. You can hug someone, just can't kiss them on the face anymore. 
now it's like you can't hand, sh- shake their hand anymore. So what, I wonder what think the of, think of back in the day when you used to kiss their hand. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thus saith the king, proclamation, no more kissing of thy hands. That's probably what they had to do. That's exactly what they had to do. Back in the 1820s, you know, have, 1720s, 1650s. They had no soap or anything back then, dude. That guy was rubbing his nuts and having people kiss Oh, hands. dude. But let me tell you, sometimes a good soap is some ball sweat. It just gets that uh, very uh, very moist. Almost, yeah, that's disgusting. Almost as good as, almost as, good as, as soap. Okay. <laughs> we should mark it. Sweaty palm. Holler, holler in with Holland Beck. Pink palm. Pink palm. Yeah. Ball sweat. So, it's a palm. And they're like, oh, this is for your balls. They're like, no, this is from there's our guy, There's a guy I played with in college that used to, that used to sweaty palm team out. That oh. the team after a game. I like, dude, if I ever find out you do that to me, I said, you and I have a fist fight. He would. Oh, bro, I'd never do it to you. He would be right, but you mean like right when you just reach right in real quick and then just go slap slap fives that with all the, with the opposing team. Yeah, and he's like being super like over the top about it too. Hey bro, hey bro, hey bro, hey bro. <laughs> good game, good game. I'm like, dude, <laughs> sick. Was that in high school? Was that in college? What was that at? That was in college. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Yeah. And just imagine, if, just imagine what was on the like. Let's say another. Teammate did that on the opposite well, I don't team. Want to imagine. I don't want to imagine. Well, it. no, just imagine the other team. There's a guy that's just like him, does the same thing, and then both of their hands collided. Oh, oh. man, that just sounds like it. Sounds like the coronavirus. On the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, let me ask you this, man. Let's say this yeah. happened. Let's, let's say this happened when you were leaving your junior year, or, you know, junior year. Uh, you know, football's over, obviously, because it, it all hit, and now you're facing se- like senior year, possibly football being canceled. Do you a take the gamble, hope, hope that you uh, can, you know, that they have a college one final year for you, or you have to wait maybe another year, who knows, or do you declare yourself for the NFL draft? Or do you join the the XFL, get signed there for a year, use use the XFL as your senior year, and then declare? They just gave him another year. They gave him another year. <clears throat> I know, but I mean, but but you know, you know, when it comes to football, like, I, would, I would play that. I'd play my ass off that next year. Really? In college, that was different though. Remember, I only had two years on the offensive line, so another year for me would have been. Difference with possibly getting drafted or going free agent, yeah. True, that's true. But, but if you're in these guys' I understand shoes, understand the risk. I understand the risk that, that that comes along with it, though. Also, yeah, because I mean, like, somebody gets hurt or something crazy happens. I get it. But then, but you but you also have, I mean, like twenty four and twenty five year olds, not a big deal. But if you're waiting a full another year to enter the NFL. And it could it could be another year that when you're 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, 31, those are the years that make a big difference. So you're almost losing possibly a year. Of getting paid, you mean? Right. Yeah, I get it. I see it from both sides. But when you're 22, 23, 21, you don't think that far ahead. You just want to get paid now. I guess that's true. See, you, see, you and I are wise now. We're wiser hmm. than we were then. Maybe you are. We're not slamming. We're not slamming four locos and freaking waking up. Never mind. That's. <laughs> <laughs> we're not catching gooch twenties in the mouth. <laughs> Dude, well, I t- we've seen that. We've seen we've that. Seen one. that. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Dude, I tell you, I. Uh... It's it's crazy how I was reading an article how alcohol sales are through the roof right now. Like, oh, dude, it's insane. It's crazy, and they're and they're thinking that May May is going to be a little yeah. bit lighter. 
Maya? Yeah, because it, because it's a lot of these sanctions are supposed to be lifted possibly in May. That's one one reason. But and then people are just going to go out. They're just going to go hit up the bars. They're going to go hit up the town. They're going to go hit up the restaurants. And so the at home purchasing for for alcohol is going to go down. Where do you even get people to deliver you at home purchasing off of alcohol? Well, I, can you get alcohol delivered to your house? Yeah, Zach does it. From where? He had he was talking about some weird thing, and he's like, I don't know. It's taking him forever now. So I was like, dude, I'll do it. Maybe that might be my side gig. Maybe I'll yeah, just go Instacart, drive. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, smart car or something like that. Instacart won't. Not at least not from Costco. I don't know. That's where I buy my. That's where I buy my goodies. My my Scooby snacks from. Really. Where I get the booze from, bro? Costco. Well, that's good for vodka. Sure. For sure, I, dude. It's so weird. Like every time I have to go to a store for something, which is few and far between. But when I do go, actually, it's not few and far between. It's way more few and far between than it used to be. But um, I like going to the store. But anyways, uh, every time I go now, I like to stock up on insane amounts of booze, just cause, just to have it. Just in case. And so what's the booze that you're buying, though? I mean, like, j- the just-in-case stuff. White Claws. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> well, you could probably go through a... You could probably go through at least a half case to a full case in one night of White Claws. Yeah, my breath ain't even stinking after 12 of those. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, Champagne for the messes, red wine... Vodka, you name it. So, what are you doing cooking wise? We, we kind of have a lost pod from last week that sucks. I'm mad. I'm frustrated. You know, but life, life moves on. We got we got worse. We got bigger things to worry about than than audio. But but still, it's a little frustrating. Yeah, yeah let's switch it up. Then. Yeah, let's take let's take let's switch it up and put, blame it on. Yeah, never mind. Me it wasn't me though. It wasn't you at all. Okay. Okay. Um, let me think. What have I been cooking, buddy? A lot of stuff. Everything. I uh, last night I did some burgers on the grill. Um, the night before that, I did some chicken and rice, like barbecue, like teriyaki chicken on the grill. Are you grilling? Are so you tra- nice. is it Traeger? Like, what are you doing? I did the burgers last night on the Traeger. I did uh, the chicken on the like gas grill the night before that dude i ordered a freaking on sunday i did a a, a, a corned beef did a corned beef on sunday oh you finally got around yeah. to that it was good too really good but i ordered, I ordered this thing called a uni o-o-n-i and it's a pizza oven and you fill it with like pellets like wood hardwood pellets that you put like in your traeger and then you, like, it's a pizza oven, so it gets to, like, 900 degrees, and the flame rolls across the top of it and goes out, the, you know, the smoke obviously goes out the chimney or the heat. And it's got a pizza stone inside of it, and you basically put your pizza in there for 30 seconds, pull it out, spin it, put it back in there. Within, like, a minute to a minute and 15 seconds, the pizza's perfectly done. Like, crispy yet doughy, and, like, all the cheese smells. It's, good. it's my favorite purchase probably in the last... I don't know. Is it? I guess this is an outdoor thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not smoking. Just added out. to my just added to my barbecue repertoire, dude. But that's amazing. Pizza, uh, How much is like that, Poppy? Bucks. It's only a couple hundred bucks. You can get it on the Amazon for like one ninety nine. Dude, I'd love. So, do you make your own dough and all that? What are you doing? Pulling out Red Barons and doing it? No, I haven't tried a frozen pizza. No. Uh, you can get like, well, the, what I did just for this first round is I uh, called Ferrelli's and ordered. I said, hey, can you guys give me four 12, because it holds like 12 inch pizzas. I said, can you give me like four uh, 12 inch, you know, flattened out pizza doughs and sauce individually, you know, done. They're like, yeah, it's like to eight bucks. For eight bucks a piece? Can, total. To, would shut up. Yeah, for like just the pizza dough and the sauce, and then you could top it yourself. You could just bake them in the oven like that too, if you want to. But 
That was from. Like you get that. It's a, it's that from. It's from Friday. Yeah. Wow. Bet you there's just maybe it's like maybe it's like twelve bucks, but it wasn't. It was, it was super cheap. It was for four pizzas and all the sauce with it. That's amazing. So then, and it, I actually, it ended up being like twenty bucks because I ordered uh, a bunch of sides of like their. They, they have this really thick cut pepperoni I like. Oh. It was like two bucks a side, so that, that was like another eight bucks. So the total was twenty bucks. Well, still, that ain't bad for four pizzas that you're going to be cooking up yourself, like wood fire grill style. That's delicious. That sounds amazing. Dude, it, it, it was great. It was awesome. It's like my favorite little purchase as of late. So have have you figured out like okay guys Thursday night's pizza night and Friday night's going to be pizza night and Saturday we're going to do something else but then Sunday night's pizza night like are you doing that now like you getting all jazzed on it? No, not yet. I just got it. On, I got it on Sunday, so I'm gonna um I'm still working the kinks out of what night's going to be pizza night. But with that being said, um you can buy little cast irons for it and do steaks in there. Like, that's how they do steak, like, high-end restaurants in, like, 900-degree ovens. Shut up! Yeah. You, you, like, or you do, like, shrimp in there and butter, you know? Put it in there for, like, a minute. Pull it out. Flip it. Done. Are you, like, uh, YouTubing this? Googling this? How are you finding all this stuff? How'd you find out about it, A of all? Uh, this one? Yeah. The pizza thing? Uh... I've seen them before, and then Kevin bought one. My Kevin and I have bought one, and so I was like, um, bored. And ordered one. <laughs> just I can just see you just hand on the desk, like on your chin, elbow on the desk, just bored on your laptop. Just uh, I gotta buy something. I need to get some excitement. I'll get that. No, pi- I needed some. pizza. Sounded good one day, and I was like, I can order it, or I can start making my own. So I talked to Kevin. He's like, dude, I love it. And I was like, all right. Did you get the uh, virtual reality headset yet? No, not yet. Yeah, that's good. Pace yourself. Who knows how long this is lasting? That's good. I like that. You can't just get, buy a bunch of stuff like it's Christmas. You got to wait wait another couple weeks. Yeah. I mean, got to see. Got to see. I mean, I'm, I don't really have any other big purchases as yet that I'm thinking about. Um, How about you? What's new with you? How's quarantine? Quarantine is amazing. <clears throat> um, I'm working out. So you want to hear my workout? Yeah, Pepsi a day. Go on. It is a Pepsi a day. You got you to gotta keep it just 150 calories. Pepsi a day. Okay. Um, but I am have a beer. taking... <laughs> uh, I, this is, I got two sets or t- yeah, two sets of these reps. Okay, so so double everything I'm telling you, but it's uh, okay. f- fifty jumping jacks, so hundred, right? And then uh, ten push-ups, so so twenty push-ups. Okay. Uh, ten squats, so twenty squats, and then ten lunges, uh, and then twenty lunges. So uh, just get that heart rate going. Just feel you know feel that pump. Jumping jacks is actually right. a pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. Jumping jacks get you going. I didn't really. Did I pull, bro, you no, know, you say you. What would you do? Pulled out the old jump rope the other day. Actually, today. Really? We back, double. Back we, to work out, dude. Were you double dutching? Left foot, right foot. Nope. Just looked like a young Rocky. Oh, they're just jumping rope for about two minutes before I thought I was gonna die. Did you put the Did you put the hoodie on and everything over the head? Put put some headphones in. Just, did you look? Did you no, look the just, part? Just headphones. Just headphones. No hoodie. Do the kids? No hoodie, but that's a no joke, dude. Did you, now let me ask jumping you. Jumping rope's no joke. Do you got the nylon jump rope? You got a rope jump rope, or do you got those uh, little beaded jump right. ropes we had back in the day? <laughs> no, it's a cable, so they're like thinner, but you can go way faster with them. Oh, really? Were you doing the? Was it whooshing? The woo, woo. No, I wasn't doing the double unders. I was just doing singles. What, was it was a jump like this? Jump, jump, smack, jump, no, smack. No. Or was it jump, smack, jump, smack, jump, smack, jump, smack? No, it was like jump, 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 double under. Ah, crap. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Uh, you should do. You know what you should do? That'd be fun. What? You should. You should set up a live video of you do like the Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning workout. You know what we should do? Is we should we should take what we did last time. Now that we've kind of got the technology for it again, I've I've been researching like crazy. I don't know if I could do it, but uh, at least you got the workout going on one screen. DJ Mike Check has got the music going on the other screen, and you guys are together putting together your own like 10 a.m. workout videos, 15 minute, 20 minute workout videos for people, and you're going live. You're going live with it. All right, now you. All right, right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, left foot, left foot. You know, and he's just bam, 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 hitting, hitting, uh, just yeah, air horns and everything, whistles and doing all that. In fact, it'd be great if you dressed up like Nogs back in the day. Just throw a whistle. Throw a whistle. Yeah, just put a whistle around. You're walking around. You got like a little breakaway parachute pants with some uh, some tennies. Are you supposed to be in shape to do like uh, videos and stuff like that? I don't think so. No. No, I mean, if just you... next thing you know, next thing you know, just just magic, Mike, and I just freaking make <laughs> millions on like uh, we're like the new P ninety X. Dude, that would be sweet. And you guys just cut me out completely. Well, yeah. You guys just use you guys just use that as a pl- platform. I'll just promote you guys on Full Buddy Cast, and then you guys just take off. And you're like, "Hey, it was cool." That bro hug, is that that was yeah. at your that was at your birthday party. It was just just me standing there filming it, going that an, that looks enough, fun. Just enough to set off just a multi million dollar empire. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how's the lab looking these days? I don't, actually, I don't even. I wish I knew. What, I know what the lab looks like right now. Probably smells like sweat, sweat, like pizza boxes and empty freaking uh, <laughs> Pepsi cans all over the place. You're probably in there just in your underwear with like just your full body cast on, full body cast hoodie on, and that rain, that rain ear hat, and your and all your live videos. Probably just smells like death in there. And. <laughs> You know, you know how you know how accurate you are. You are so accurate. There's like like six or seven Pepsi cans laying around. My garbage can is overflowing. There is a some pizza, and uh, it does probably smell like just you know the shreddy sh- 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 balls. But but uh, I do have pants on, and I but I am wearing the the, the, the full buddy hoodie, and uh, <clears throat> Telling you, are you it, taking the full body hoodie off since you've gotten it? Yeah, yeah, I washed it. Yeah, this is the brand new fresh morning. I'm wearing it. Fresh day, huh? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. just get one for yourself or did you get one for all your cast members? So I got everyone a t shirt. Here's the thing when I ordered it, I didn't even know I was going to get a hoodie. That's the God honest truth. And so when I ordered all the t shirts, they sent a, a hoodie sweatshirt with it, probably to suck me in for more. And so, um, yeah, it just so happened to be your size, huh? Well, they they knew what my size was, and so they because I told them what my size was, and here's the other ones that I wanted, and then who's the uh, who, what company did you go through? I went through King Imprints. Is this somebody you found online or something? It's my uncle's company, so he, he so oh, okay. so I think he's trying to get me truth. to oh, so the truth comes up, truth comes up. So he's trying to get me to go, but here's the thing: I didn't know I was getting a hoodie. What is that in the background? You got some monkey in the background. Birds, bro. Oh, sounds like freaking. I've been watching Tiger King, and I thought you got some animals, some 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 now exotic animals now after watching that. I'm just on my back porch with a lemur. <laughs> so that's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's a freaking bird, dude. like like I'm picturing the lemur like crawling across your shoulders on the back of your back of your head and pick, picking at your head a little bit, but then like crawling around. No, it's in a cage. And Kate's out there with the big cat right now, with a gun on her hip, just cleaning up cat. <laughs> Kate, Kate, well, you would be Joe Exotic, Joe, Joe and Hollenbeck. I like that. I know. And she's Carol, Carol Baskin. That I mean, I swear, it sounds like you're in a jungle right now. It's because, dude, I live in the nature, bro. There's, I come out, birds come out, bro. You're like. Sun's out. <laughs> 
it's it's beautiful. Let me just tell you that. It sounds good. Also, sounds like you may be taking a record and just kind of like taking your fingernails across the record, going. That sounds that's like what you, that's what that's yeah. what Robin sound like to you. I don't know. That's what it sounds like over the phone right now. Um, speaking of Tiger King, did you finish it? Yeah. And I finished mine too. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you think? What'd you think? Okay, guys, spoilers, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Um, I, I think that I was, I feel like I got dumber by watching that. And I also, it was, don't get me wrong, it was entertaining for a little bit. And then I just was like, dude, this guy's like, just got to give it up, dude. Like, he was just like crazy. And then, like, the Jeff guy that came in, like, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, that guy, Rob Deerdeck, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, the, the he just yeah, that guy seemed like a everyone seemed like a character, and I guess I didn't realize how much you'd have to be a character to be like this. You have to be a character. They're they're like old school circuses that makes me think of like like they're true carnies in a sense, you know, from like early 1900s and 1800s of traveling circuses with animals like that's them <clears throat> so what i just don't understand like that guy just gave it all away huh okay now it's yours well he just had he, what? he had no he had no assets left he had nothing and so i mean i don't know i was a little foggy on that too but the, what was the point because a lot of this stuff was already ruined by the media and my friends texting about it so there were some things that I, I knew was going to happen, but there's one thing that just shocked the shit out of me. And that was when the Travis guy. Got the other chick pregnant? No. No, that's Joe. That's the guy named was Joey. But, uh, oh, oh, well, when he, oh, when he offed himself. Yes. By accident, it sounded like. Like, oh, yeah, you can't. That's what it sounded like, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't put, you know, you can't shoot if there's no clip in it. You can't do it. Boom. Does it right there. And the guy, the guy's reaction, that dude who was like the camp, the, the, the campaign manager just sitting there just completely like, oh my gosh. Like dude just yeah. shot himself right in front of him. Insane. Crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Okay. So anything. That guy wanted out though. So there's that too. Yeah, he did want out, and his mom was sucked in, and then the guys. I didn't realize that he he dressed up as a priest or as a preacher or whatever, uh, and he's not, and he's just out there playing the guitar for the guy, like like he made it all about himself. Guys and guys a nut job, big time. So uh, we also watched Love Is Blind and finished Love Is Blind. Have you finished Love Is Blind? Yeah, and I, I tried to watch like the year after, and I got bored with it so, last night. And we were like, "This is so boring. We're out." Yeah, well, I think that I, I I do agree with that. Spoiler, 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 spoiler on that one. I think the thing is, is that you, you, like Jessica was was legit weird and not all there. And then like, oh, how about when Sarah like went off and I tried to make it like a Bravo deal? Oh, that was sweet though. That was pretty I was like, sweet. Oh, oh, and then like nothing happened. I was like, what is that? Yeah. I'm over it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. But, but Jessica was Messica. She was just a mess. And so then we thought, yeah. we thought, I, I, and then, but then like episode eight, I kind of like stopped watching it and I started watching Tiger King. And then that Carol Baskin just stole the show. Like, I'm like, Jessica looked normal at that point. Like, I was just like, oh, okay. And then, I, 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 like you said, it kind of got, I mean, it was interesting to see who got married and who didn't get married and this and that. But the drama aspect of it was just completely like, uh, okay. Yeah, kind of ended week. Yeah. But do, hey, do you think do you think Carol killed their husband, and you think he's in Costa Rica right now with his buried money, just chilling with like a pina colada and some thirty year old chick? After watching the doc, I thought, well, he's probably dead now. But I thought that he was in Costa Rica. But the crazy thing just came out. I read it this morning. The guy who she she fired everybody except for one dude. She got rid of everybody except for his right hand man. She kept the day before he disappeared. There's records of this. 
she took all of his guns and gave it to him legally, registered and transferred. Started the transferring of his 50 guns to this guy. So it sounded like perhaps the dude that was his right hand man. The guy that was talking that said he never saw her, it was the handyman guy? I don't know the guy's name, Kenneth or something like that. I don't know, Ken something. I don't know. But there's reports that he got his entire gun collection. I don't know, dude. Weird show, bro. How I feel bad for that producer. The guy who lost, lost everything? So Yeah, that was fishy too, right? Well, Joe Zodic was a pirate rope. <laughs> So I read a Vanity Fair article about that this morning as well. Where are some of these people now? That dude checked himself into a psychiatric clinic after that whole thing went down. The dude that lost the... the, the yeah. The dude that was the... The producer. Well, how did they get all the footage? Did he get paid for this thing? They had to have some of his footage. Like, how did they do it five years prior? So, so oh, he... Man. Yeah, so... All that happened before that? Well, he was doing the whole behind the scenes, this and that and the other thing. Um, but yeah, I don't, I have no clue unless there was just other footage that they used. Cause it, it's, it's bananas. It is bananas. It is bananas. Again, I, I don't know what I know anymore. Like someone could say, this is, this is real. And I go, oh, is it? I don't know. I can't tell. See, that's the same thing with like this whole last month. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm living I feel like I'm living in the lion or the whatever the hell his name is. The Tiger King's like like in like a sh- like a shack on the back of his property or something right now. <laughs> all, this shit that's going on. <laughs> all this craziness. I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. I'm like banana. Yeah. No. I yeah. I have no clue. And honestly, I take every day. This is like the. It's just day by day. I've. They would say, "Hey, take a. Hey, take a. You know, take a break. You know, take. You know, this is how you. This is how you overcome anything. And then it's just gonna take it one day at a time. Just one day at a time. Days we got to do that for. And, yeah, I heard he's gonna extend this shit for another thirty days. I have no clue. Sorry, I was, I've got like a I got a weird text. I got a weird text. Hold on, sorry. I thought it was work related and it wasn't, so I'm, I don't care anymore. Um, one of my coworkers sent me a uh, all caps WTF, and like you said, everything's so like who knows? Like what's the next? What's the next major news thing that's going to come out? You know. So I thought maybe there was something that was announced at my work since I'm not on line and so i had to check it but they were just frustrated about something so my gosh like every yeah no you're okay go ahead no no go ahead i don't mean to cut you off it's your show it's our show joe come on dude it's in fact it's hollering with hauling back i'm a part of it with you i know you think that they're doing something crazy with the money in the united states right now like they're trying to change the currency or something stupid yeah, they said that it's now starting to become electronic. Like not like Bitcoin, Bitcoin, but like like this is everything that So listen, dude, listen to this. This is I'm not doing there at all. I'm just curious about this. They're throwing so many trillions of dollars, billions a day, basically, at everything that our dollar is gonna be a zero. It already is, isn't it? Not in America. Like, isn't it just all just like this fake? We just print money, print money, print money, print money. <coughs> like, that's all I, I don't do. know. So tell me what this electronic currency is, then. Do you know anything about it? So I talked with your cousin about this a little bit. It's kind of the same thing. Do I need to start, do I need to throw some money at something to like, do I need to just raise some money so I can order some of these things so someday it's like the bitcoin thing you remember when the bitcoin thing came out for like a hundred bucks and we were all like two hundred bucks that if you would have bought one of them now you'd have a freaking million bucks or more yeah whatever it is no it's insane i don't know if it's still around that way but your 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 uh, cousin said that in china 
you have to purchase if if you have this you have to have a cell phone to purchase uh anything it's an ID, it's an identification card it's an identif- it's like you need it you can't just like whip out a wallet and start paying with cash you have to have a, a cell phone with you and a, and it's a part of the identification process but here's the thing he said over the past year or so there are 21 million less cell phone users in China. So right. I just read this. I just read this thing. I was like, such a hoax. Are they dead? Or are they doing something different? Are they doing the chip? Are they doing the, uh, the, uh, you know, tattoo with the, with the, you, with the code on your hand, who knows, right? Like, is it, are people dying or are they just changing how they're, are they moving off from cell phones to something different and they're kind of keeping it on the DL? Are you going to let them do that to you? I'm the biggest pussy there is, Joey. <laughs> yes, I'm going to let them do it to me. I'm going to be the guy that's going to be like, this is, this is, I'm going to be like, this is terrible. Don't do that. And then I'm going to do, go along with it. And I'll be like, yeah, that's exactly how it's going to go. Have- you just have a bunch of letters as a tramp stamp on your lower back. Yeah, tattoo. Yeah, if that's what it comes down to, if they have this, if they turn around, scan. We got to scan your ID, and it's on your your lower back. I'm like, I'm walking around with uh, with belly shirts. Uh, it just so it's easier access. It's midriff showing everywhere. You get hit in Vegas. <laughs> I might be working there, man. I don't know. At the end of this whole thing, you look at some of these people that are walking around trying to get money and are dressed up as friggin' Chewbacca. I might become a Chewbacca soon, man. Who knows? <laughs> Too late. Too late. Too late. But uh, what have you been cooking lately? Anything good? Did another turkey. Last time I... Dude, where you find all these turkeys at? At the store? What do you think? I'm just hunting these things down? This one sucked. Dude, I got, I got a split breast turkey I'm going to put on right after I get off the phone, right after I get off this call. Love that idea. That's a great call. I think I'm, I think I'm going to put it on the Traeger and smoke it. That sounds good, too. Let me know how that goes. I uh, the, the first one we did was nice economically because it's like you purchase around Thanksgiving so much money. Or someone just spent so much money, then you get a free turkey, or you get like twenty cents a pound, or blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was nice. But this one, I had, a, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go buy another turkey. That worked out well, and and it was, it turned out great. But it was like thirty five bucks, and I was like, dang, dude. But it does actually. But if you cook it, you know, it takes care of that night, and you've got like a couple meals after. You got sandwiches for like three, at least three or four days. So. You know, it's actually, so wait a second. So it's not, it's not you're telling me that this this one now that you spent the first one you didn't spend much money on, if any, and you're like, oh, nothing to lose here. This one you dropped forty bucks on, and then you had too much pressure on you, and you have to up. No, we actually did well. In fact, my wife cooked it. I told her how. Okay. I told her how. <laughs> I did. Okay. I I was I was okay. like, listen, I I can't babysit you on this. This is what you got to do. You got to take that saucepan. You got to get that butter going. Throw some sage in it. You got to throw some uh, 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 sage and whatever that other one was. And thyme, rosemary, rosemary. And then you got to just. I said. I said you got to heat that butter up. Get it melting. And when it just starts, just starts to get that brown look to it. Just ugh. then you toss those things in. Stir it around for a minute. Just cook it for one minute. Get it nice and take your tongs and toss that sage and and rosemary back and forth in it. Get it nice and nice and covered, uh, and then uh, while that's kind of you just you just coat that inner turkey with some salt and pepper, and then shove it shove that right in. So you got to cut up that. Are you playing what? Are you playing to mix a lot of buttermilk biscuits the whole time? Oh, like dude, it? that's not a bad idea. So just on loop. That's not a bad idea, but yeah, no. So I taught, I taught her. So that's how you gotta do. Rub it. So in the last three weeks, you've only cooked two turkeys. That's it. Well, no, we've cooked, and then we cooked up a bunch of hamburger meat for tacos, so the kids can kind of see. I got teenagers that just eat, and so I, I have to, I have to kind of like meal prep, not like for health reasons, but just like so these kids when they get hungry, 
They could go in, grab some Tupperware, throw some uh, food on a plate, go heat it up. So we made a bunch of taco meat, refried beans, Spanish rice, you know, got them in their containers. And the kids can just go in there and make their soft tacos or hard tacos or whatever. And then Are you uh, a hard taco or a soft taco guy? I'm a hard taco in a soft taco, double decker, that greatest Dude, greatest thing in the world. So good. Yeah. I got some carne asada I need to cook too. There you go, man. There you go. Yeah. So I, that's not a bad idea. Actually, I might go take a take a walk down to a little grocery store over here that has a bunch of the Mexican food and I might have to do that myself. It's not a bad idea. That place good. I haven't tried it. That's the thing. Like now that I'm like home and not going out to eat, I'm like trying new things. I did order a pizza, and that was the weirdest exchange of my life. It was. Somebody said it, now you just like throw your money at him and like threw it back at you. Literally, I felt like I was a king. Because here's the thing, I'm <laughs> I'm up on the steps, right? So I open the door. I say, "How do we do this?" They go, "We lay it down at the bottom of your stairs," and literally, like she like unpacked it all boxes, laid them out in front of me as if I was just like, I'm in a robe anyways, pretty much. And, and, and they're like, yeah. Hey, damn right. You are. <laughs> and, and, they, and then she like sets them down and then she has to back up six feet away from me. So she's backing up from me, like walking backwards. And then I walk down at that point, I sign the little sheet and I set it next to it and I package up my stuff and I walk up. It was like, she was giving me an offering. Like I literally felt it, like, I wanted to order pizza the re- every night after that. Like I felt it was awkward at first, but it definitely stroked the old ego. Made me feel like a king. You the next time? Will this be cash or card? I'll be paying cash when they come. Set it down on the front steps. You walk down and grab the pizza. Look at her. <laughs> just turn around. Sprint back in. Lock the door. <clears throat> I, I left it down there. The wind must have took it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are you coming Six six feet as I'm screaming as she's chasing me. I'm like six feet, six feet, six feet. <laughs> Who'd you order? Where, where, where'd you order it from? Yeah, please tell me it was Frankie, uh, Cascadia, please. Domino's. Damn, you you like Domino's, huh? It's like down the street. I get it. I get it fast. Frankie's is budget. Frankie's is good. I like their I like their sandwiches and I like their wings too. Sandwiches or never had a sandwich? Oh, dude, I made some awesome wings last weekend. Friday. What'd you What'd you use? Uh, put them in the Traeger, smoked them for a while, took them off, cranked it up, got them really crispy. No, smoked them for a while, put them in the oven at like four fifty for like forty minutes, and they crisped up awesome. And then took them out, and then I made two t- types. The kids like this one, which I do with like kind of like everything bagel seasoning on it, oh. on them. And then I did another. I do another one with I that I did with uh, a Nashville hot like uh, hot chicken like rub on them that I had on the whole time. And then I coated them in this. Uh, oh my gosh! Buffalo sauce that I had, and it was dynamite. He's like those are the best wings you've ever made, dude. You know what you you know what you should do right now. This is this is yeah. what you should do. This is me. Go open a go have a beer. Do that, but I haven't had, I haven't had a beer in a couple of days. That's good. You need Two to and a half days sober right now. You need to get your you need to get a fifteen minute meal video going at least at least once a week. I, get, I don't have none of my meals take fifteen minutes. Well, no, 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 no. You don't do 15 minutes. You do like, like you just, if someone were to watch, make it five minutes. Someone's just watching it. Speed it up like it's on Tasty. Yes, dude. I'm telling you, Joey. I'm telling you. The way you cook, this is, this would be fun for people to watch and to learn. I would, I would absolutely watch this. If you said, this is how I'm going to do the wings. Cause a lot of people are right now, I think they're kind of stumbling in the kitchen. At least, you know, I'd say not everybody, but there's a few people that are probably stumbling in the kitchen and it would be really cool to be like, oh, okay, Joey just showed me how to make these everything uh, topping uh, and then hot rub chicken wings. I want to try that. I want to try how he's doing it. That's how, I'm going to do that today. See, this, people have lost spontaneity. 
You can't just go to the movies. You can't just go to the restaurant. You can't just go. It's now all about food and drinks at home. That's why people, you know, it's like, what am I going to drink tonight? What am I going to eat tonight? That's what's fun right now. So I think you do it, dude. Do it. I just looked in and looked at my wife's making soup for dinner. What? Yeah. What the hell? Like from a can? No, she makes homemade soup and it's really good. You know what? That's good. She makes homemade chicken noodle soup and dynamite. But I don't know what she's making. I just started pouring broth in a big Dutch oven. That's... That sounds good. That sounds really good. It is good. She's good. She makes it with these like egg noodle thing. Oh yeah. A good homemade oh, yeah. a good homemade soup is great. My ex wife, she made the best. Like, I don't know what it was, but sausage kale, a little bit of broth. Oh man, it was so good. And my mom It's like an Italian it's like an Italian wedding soup. Oh, it's so good. And That's then called, I think. My wife or my my uh, my mom would make a uh, potato b- bacon potato chowder. Oh, cheesy chowder, bacon potato cheesy chowder. Good night. Oh, good night. Oh, I, dude, cheesy bacon potato. Oh, so good chowder. I'm a sucker for like a. I'm a sucker for like a cheddar broccoli soup. Oh yes, dude. Fuck me sideways, dude. That's so. Good. <laughs> I always think to myself, like, "Hey, what could I, what could I use as a, as a sound bite to to put this out here?" Oh, good! I just talked about my mom. She kind of my mom would like to hear that. And then oh, is that nothing to do with your mom. I was talking about my mom's chowder that she made, oh. the, the bacon cheese, and oh. you're like, "Oh yeah, I love a good chowder." That broccoli suck me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's out. That sound bite's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what's on the docket for tonight um my kids are going home a couple I, beers. yeah i gotta drive my kids home in a little bit and then uh they, they go back to their moms and then i'll come back here i'll probably start cracking beers at that point start editing up this episode and then start editing on zach's episode to probably release a first part on on friday that the thing about Zach, and I get it, when people are alone, when they're they don't have any human interaction, they talk, man, and they don't, and and they've all, they formed all these thoughts about everything, COVID and this and that, and what the governments do, and they just, and so Zach was just talking, and so was I. We were just talking last night, and it got to be like an hour and a half, and I cannot release an hour and a half episode. That that no, no one has that. No one's commuting anymore. So I got to cut that. that. Guy was- Spitting, huh? He was spit. That MF was spitting. Dude, this sun's out right now. I might be getting a tan, yo. Dude, it's supposed to snow today. Like like a week ago, I said, oh, it's going to snow. It's cold. So all, you, now, now all of a sudden, now you believe the uh, meteorologist? Well, I'm just saying it's funny how they th- that they said it was going to snow. Now it's sunny and 60 at my house. It's beautiful. But it's going to be cold tonight. I'm going to get another fire. Get a stove, get you, bud. Oh, I wish I had some more. Yeah. PM I'll have to send you one few. Yeah, PM me your address. I can send you a t-shirt too. When I get my t-shirt, I'll send you a couple stogies, maybe. It is. It, you don't have to. You don't. No trades there. But but I, I just PM me your address though. I'll get and and then I'll get Kate one too. So you guys can be matchers. Matchers. Yeah. Okay. Twins, twinsies. How much you order? I got about forty of them, and I've got about Word. thirteen hosts. <laughs> so I gotta somehow make a little—not make money. I, I, but basically, what I want to do is I want to make enough money to make more to take and order hoodies next. So, oh, so you're gonna you're gonna bill me. No, no, you're going to get it for free. You and Kate will get it for free. <laughs> okay. But you haven't got the bill yet of my editing. That's still in the mail. I think we're at like 30-something episodes at this point, too. So that's going to be quite expensive. Send it over. You haven't got mine either for the voiceover the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> plus plus the uh, 
a couple episodes where I failed to record um, properly. Fee. That's, there's you a- want to tell everybody what happened, for why we didn't have an episode last week? <clears throat> Not really. But uh, so I was an idiot. We'll just say it right now. I had earlier gone live with uh, where I had to use my microphone. That's a USB microphone that's that's plugged into my, my laptop. And so it's smoother. It's crisper. It sounds better. So when I was going live with it, it sounded better. What I forgot to do, I double checked. Hey, is is the USB plugged in before I before I got started recording with Joe? It's like, yeah, okay, I see the USB is plugged in, but the thing was, is it was just the USB for the microphone, the one mic, and not the USB for the whole mixer, which you can hear Joey. So you could hear me great. You couldn't hear Joey worth a lick, and it was. Uh, I like this episode. I'll be honest with you, Joey. When you're driving, it there's yeah. a there's a little more of a delay, but when you're at home, I feel like it's a lot faster. There's a lot rapid. So I kind of like I like this though. So I, the other one was good, but I think this is a lot better. You know, I'm just wearing my AirPods right now, so I can always switch to that anytime I am driving or whatever. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I didn't realize there was such a delay. Be it for. So are you record? Are you? Sending this off of your AirPods too, or no? Uh, what? How you're talking right now oh. is, is it into your phone? No. It's your AirPods. AirPods. Your AirPods have a microphone that strong. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Joey's got all the cool stuff, guys. If you guys want, if down the road, if, if things get, <laughs> it's, it's earphones, bro. <laughs> If it, sure. Oh yeah, it says the guy with the virtual reality and the freaking whatever else you're working on. Hey everyone, so just seriously, if it gets bad, if it gets rough out there, it, you know it's been a few months. You don't even say. Hey, don't even say. It. If you haven't had, if you, if you need any cool stuff, don't even say that don't, don't even say it. Don't come here. <laughs> Or here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. What? Well, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking this is a good episode. I think we, we we're going to need to end. It's been about an hour. Let's do it. I need a drink, and I need to put my turkey split turkey breath on. All right. Well, tell Kate hi then. If you're talking about, I will. you're talking about her. What do you? What? What do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. I'll text you. I'll text you my address. All right, sounds good. I'll put it. I'll put it on blast right, when it gets gets rough yeah, out here do. in the streets. Yeah, do. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye, buddy. Bye. Later. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. That was fun. I love talking to him so much. He is a funny guy. Um, and then uh, I know a lot of these aren't going to get listened to probably now because people are at home and this and that, but I hope you guys look to catch up with it. That's why I'm kind of slowing down the releases, not having so many every, every uh, week. So people can kind of catch up again. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. God bless. Love you all.